The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not yeah. in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? 
all Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. 
K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no mail time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just on a bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. The enemy, I need to oh. oh.
Unable to locate the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. There's somebody there. It's the enemy. It's the enemy. I need help. What's going on? Respond. We've lost contact with the crew lounge. Back up unit. Check it out. Encounter the enemy requesting backup. Encounter the enemy requesting backup.
Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right, and they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. Oh. What's that?
Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal. <gasps> Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now! Damn it. Freeze! Hands over your head, now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. Set to move. Americans. So you shoot women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. It stopped me. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. That brings our tour to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We've shared everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the unit. 
Nothing else matters to me. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. Cypher? Otacon, the ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out, then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? E. E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you.
What's going on? Respond! We've lost contact with Deck D. Backup unit, check it out. Unable to locate the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. What are you? Would you shoot a prisoner? What are you? What are you? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Hmm? 
There's somebody there. What's going on? Respond! It's the enemy! I need that! What's going on? Respond! We've lost contact with the crew lounge. Back up unit, check it out.
Jesus. <laughs> Just try to pull the trigger. Shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Snake, there's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun.
Horizontal bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Encounter the enemy requesting backup. Understood. Search team, head to deck two immediately. Locate the subject.
Master Notch. All right. The lift is also under our control. We're on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. My daughter, keep her safe. Yes, sir. Who's there? Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake, let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. 
Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation, and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look. All you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech. But you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear push to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. Freeze. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations Freeze. building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. And the shift in the balance Freeze. of power will mean a new world order. <laughs> on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind nuclear proliferation will be contained, 
and it will be the Marine Corps and our raid that will accomplish this. <laughs> this weapon will render all other metal gears <laughs> obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear Force would think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only project devoted to... Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project, but I promise you that they will not succeed. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of RAID. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. I have a daughter. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. You must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Right. Front. Up. Front. Right. To move on, the National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century, projected to completion in 2005. However, the NMD trial conducted in the year 2000 was a complete failure, and the success of the 1999 trials is now considered a chance happening. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the Anti-Ballistic Missile Agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the ah. very beginning. Freeze. <gasps> President Sears forced the ah. proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest with plans for the $100 billion program budget that actually arranged the legislative approval. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. Proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NVT and START obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. 
The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century. And we cannot afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear Ray you see is here to prevent that possibility. We have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists planning to target the ship. Intruder to the right! Intruder in the back! Intruder to the left! Intruder in the back! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your guard at all times. Getting back to the... Okay, we're finally there. So, this is the new Metal Gear. Yep, and we're gonna show the whole world its baby pictures. Get the prototype on camera. We need four images. One from the front right, the front, and the front left, and a close-up of the Marines marking on the prototype. Once you have the photos, use the workstation in the southeast end of the area to transmit them over to me. Send me something I can use. I'll explain how to use the camera. Once you've got the photos, Use the workstation in the southeast end of that room to send them over to me. But if they aren't what we need, I'm gonna have to ask you to take... Stop it, hand. Former President Sears did also act towards reducing the nuclear stockpile while nurturing the NMD concept. It was he who lowered Start 3 ceiling for tactical nuclear weapons in order to bring Russia around to approving a revision to the ABM treaty. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses happened. Even though the development of Metal Gear Rex is still outside the bounds of official truth, everyone in the international military community knows the facts. Its specs spread across the globe like wildfire, and the nuclear race is on again. The only thing that can reverse its course is this Metal Gear Ray. It is an undeniable fact that there is a force at work in our government and within the military, seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests. Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plan. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up. Oh, I don't think we can use this. What's next? Oh, I... We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismissed.
Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood. <laughs> this ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. We're almost at the target. Get a move on. to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerlukovic, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Sergey. Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I try to stop. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. <laughs> Ouch! Get out of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! <laughs> the price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! Liquid arm.
proceeding as planned, sir. Discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Sonic team's Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad are dead cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst-case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. 
What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the codec button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the codec button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Got your feet wet? These are the big... Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. 
Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator, a node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now? Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. 
The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the pause button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? 
So that's why you changed my code name. Right. But he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had Whatever. daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp Whatever. until you can find a node to log in exactly. from. Exactly. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. All and the right. President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. All Strut right. B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <clears throat> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Hmm?
Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course.
respond. Are you? Five today. Or rather six. Where is he? Strange smell. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Them. Yeah, Queen? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. 
That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Raiden, what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah, Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? The 
BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday.